Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're going to be talking about what I consider to be the top 10 movie marathons to watch while quarantined. <laughs> Before I officially do start this list though, I do want to let you know of a few movies that I have not yet seen. Now those would be uh, Star Wars, Star Trek, Planet of the Apes, and the Rocky movies. I only chose franchises that had five movies or more. Um, so in case you're wondering where like The Dark Knight is or Jaws, um, they only have three to four movies. Lord of the Rings, I'm not that fond of them. Now coming in in 10th place with five movies would be good old Die Hard. I mean, what would we watch during the holiday season? Can anybody explain? I don't think any Anybody has ever really been able to explain why this is considered a Christmas movie. I mean, I get it that we were in the holidays in the first part, but that's about it. And it's just, I find it so crazy that this is considered a Christmas movie or, you know, it's always being played within the holiday season. But, you know, we do have good old John McClane with a lot of action, a lot of killing, a lot of like bomb threats and like terrorist i honestly have no problem with the last part well the last two parts they're just fun i mean are they the greatest thing no now moving on to number nine coming in with seven films would be saw some of y'all might not believe that i don't watch scary movies but i don't find these to be scary movies they're just more like within the gruesome like slasher based movies and i can do those i, I again i just can't not do things popping out at me and like demonic stuff and like possess like things like no of course this particular franchise is not for everybody because there's just too much gruesome involved too much killing too much you know good stuff that i like but let's go ahead and move on to number eight coming in with five movies that would be the born franchise um now me personally i dislike part for the least that's the one with jeremy renner we got matt damon being a little badass secret agent who you know got himself shot off a boat now has amnesia he can't put me right back at the end oh my god it's been a minute you guys and we got him doing like his thing and like killing people with the pen we got the cia we got conspiracies we got spies we got murder we got uh cover up it's a lot of good stuff you guys and it's very very entertaining except for part four don't like part four and then seventh place we continue on with the action with six movies movies a mission impossible i totally try to do the little music for you guys there go again trying to sing for you um i guess it's just meant for me not to but the mission if you choose to accept it is to subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel this message will not self-destruct because i would like for you to continue to watch this move on to number six i think that's where we're at now and that would be underworld coming in with five movies um this is just where i fell in love with kate beckinsale she's awesome i mean who else can really pull off fighting in like a leather jumpsuit, whatever the hell? I don't know, you guys. She's like really like compartmentalized, if I can say the damn word, in what she's wearing. And she's looking damn good. We got vampires. We got lichen. We got a human. It gets turned into a hybrid lichen vampire deal. Then we got like a love story. Then we got like a, like an unexplained child that is like, what? I personally was a fan of the first three uh, Underworld movies. I know a lot of people really dislike Rise of the Lycans. I personally didn't mind it. If you're into vampires and werewolves, we don't have witches here, you guys. Do we? No, we don't have witches. Yeah, I know sometimes they kind of like all three correspond within the same deal. But we do just have vampires and werewolves and it's they're known as lichens here you guys all right you guys we are halfway there coming in in fifth place with five movies would be jurassic park and i'm incorporating the whole world obviously i mean we have freaking dinosaurs you guys of course the most traumatic death of the whole deal for me was when the damn t-rex ate the dog that was like horrible I was just like, oh my god no like you just had yourself a little snack question for you guys if the park actually were to exist in this day and age and we weren't in quarantine would y'all travel to costa rica to go visit these damn dinosaurs i don't think i would like i would want to but then i would be like have y'all not seen jurassic park y'all go visit the pretty little dinosaurs i will see y'all photos through instagram and then when the park attacks you while you're there i'll be like <laughs> you wonder why i told you in fourth place with 10 movies would be 
X-Men. Um, the X-Men are probably my favorite superheroes. If they did come up with some sort of like serum or injection or whatever the hell to unleash your superpower, I would that I would be down for you guys. Like now Jurassic Park, no. But to see if I can have some sort of power, yeah, I would. Like that I would would y'all do it online. Now Logan, you guys, oh if you haven't seen that, it's a great closure to like Wolverine story, Professor X's story. Number three, and that is coming in with a 10 movies, and that would be Harry Potter. And I know some of you are probably like, no, it only has eight. I'm also incorporating the Fantastic Beasts, so that makes it 10, because technically it is part of the Harry Potter world. It's Harry Potter, you guys, it's awesome. You gotta love Hogwarts. Before I give you my final two, of course, I need to have some honorable mentions here. So coming in with 23 films would be the MCU, of course. Um, I don't have it up um, on my official list, because I have not not seen all the MCU films. Like coming in with six movies would be Resident Evil. And with 21 films, we got the Bond series. And in case you're like, why is this not on your list? It's because I've only seen the Bond movies with Daniel Craig. And then finally coming in with five movies would be Twilight because of course I have Twilight on my list. But coming in in second place would be The Fast and the Furious. Coming in with eight movies. Would have been nine if it wasn't for Corona. Oh, actually, I guess technically it is nine movies and we do count Hubs and Shaw, which, mm, not fond of that. Fast Five, Twice Bar is like my favorite movie. I love that. I had said at some point, I wouldn't be surprised if they end up in space. I mean, that's, I feel like that is the ultimate like finale that that's where I think part 10 is gonna go to is space. I think it was Ludacris who confirmed that they're going into space. And I get it, it's ridiculous, you guys. That's what this whole, like, series is about. Like, it's just so much fun. It's a good way to shut your brain off. Don't think about it too much. But coming in in first place, again, if you know me personally, and if you've seen other ranking movies, I feel like you may know where this is going. But coming in with five movies would be Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, I, I just love Pirates of the Caribbean. I've said this before, so I'm not going to... You know go too much into this i love this world that they've created i love jack sparrow he's my favorite johnny depp character he won't be in the new parts of the caribbean movie which sucks but you know i'm kind of have a little bit of hopes because margot robbie is supposed to be the lead in that movie and it is gonna be an all-female cast so i don't know i don't really know how i feel about that new upcoming movie this is my list you guys it's just what i consider to be the top 10 marathons to watch um of course my list is not the right list but it's not the wrong list you guys let me know down below what you guys would recommend to be a good marathon to watch of course you guys can incorporate trilogies if you want that is your list your decision there's nothing wrong with it you guys of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye